Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. Now, as we get closer to the very end of March, there's been a lot of things happening between all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company, most of which having to do with Lucasfilm and Marvel Studios. I would like to really go as far to say as two of the most failed divisions over at the Walt Disney Company right now, especially with what's been going on with the Acolyte for Lucasfilm and what's been going on with all of the 2025 expensive failures for the Marvel Cinematic Universe via Marvel Studios slash Kevin Feige. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, Deadpool 3, also known as Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, we got that trailer during Super Bowl Sunday, and a new trailer awaits. It's going to be releasing in a couple of weeks from now to really up the ante of the marketing campaign of this thing. But there's been a lot of drama happening with the third Deadpool film behind the scenes regarding the third act. This is exactly why those like Ryan, Sean, Rhett, and Paul, the writers, of course, and the director, including Reynolds in the group, along with Hugh Jackman, have been fighting the Disney heads desperately day in and day out to prevent DEI from spilling into the third act of this movie. The first two acts went very smoothly. It wasn't up until the third act where Disney wanted to really kind of do this bait and switch technique. Now, this is where things get interesting when it comes to the whole Joy Behar situation after Ryan Reynolds stepped down from appearing on The View from one episode. Or was it? Let's get into this. Now, specifically, of course, on top of all of that, one thing, of course, with the drama related to Deadpool 3, ahead of its planned reshoots that Ryan, Sean, Rhett, and Paul have been attempting to desperately alter from what the Disney heads are pushing, one major development involves the ongoing situation with Joy Behar of The View. Now, as it turns out, in one shocking turn of events, the plan by Bob Iger and the Disney heads was to provide Joy Behar with a special agreement that was going to bring on Ryan Reynolds dressed as Deadpool for a total of five episodes, as it turns out, and not just one. The plan was to have Reynolds appear on the show to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with Behar, both as Deadpool in character and as himself. Now, this special agreement was going to be a multi-million dollar payday for J Joy Behar and was planned by those of The View to increase their ratings from Deadpool fans. After Reynolds decided to bail out of all five episodes of The View that were planned to run from last week of June and throughout all of July, Behar reportedly lost out on a, get this, $10 million deal that was in full agreement with Bob Iger and the rest over at Disney that is now no longer happening. The main reason why Reynolds bailed out of the five episodes was that Behar and Bob Iger were pushing the questions to be pressed against Ryan about the importance of DEI, also known as diversity, equity, and inclusion, in the Marvel Universe and what's in store with that for Deadpool 3. Now, him stepping down from the show wasn't surprising since Ryan has been battling Disney to get rid of DEI from the planned reshoots that are set to begin filming by this April until May. Now, with Behar out of $10 million now, after not just Ryan Reynolds refused to go on The View, but also Hugh Jackman was convinced by Reynolds to step out of the deal. Already, Iger and the Disney heads are warning those like Reynolds that some consequences will come with that type of action and how it will impact his involvement in the future of the MCU. Behar is reportedly furious over the fact that she lost out on her $10 million payday. Disney's Bob Iger was going to use Behar as a way to promote Deadpool on an ABC-run program, one of which being The View that no Deadpool or Marvel fan watches to begin with. Even Marvel, of course, was going to get in on it when it comes to Marvel Studios. Now, Whoopi Goldberg was going to be allowed to ask questions. However, she was planned to only receive a small amount from the Walt Disney Company for participating in the interview. Hugh Jackman was also planned to show on a five-episode format, as it turns out, and not just one as well. This was going to be Bob Iger's grand Deadpool 3 marketing campaign from June into July to promote the film outside of the interview, of course, and away from typical ads. Behar is already beginning the fight with the Disney heads, including Bob Iger, and already made some serious warnings against them for not agreeing to provide her payout even after Reynolds decided to back down. She is also blaming Reynolds for the loss of the payout from the Walt Disney Company. 
Now, right now, Bob Iger is desperately trying to get Reynolds and Jackman on the Jimmy Kimmel Live show to do a similar act, but they are already refusing to appear on his show as well, since Iger was already pushing ABC a couple of months ago to demand Kimmel to discuss DEI on the episode. Now, guys, let me just stop here quick before I get to the big conclusion. Now, I'm glad that Ryan and Hugh are kind of standing up for the fans behind the scenes. They are acting like Henry Cavill in a way where they stand up for what's right. The source material, the fans, the community, the fandom, whatever you want to say. They really do care about the work that they do participate in. And they see nonsense when they see nonsense. All right, let's be real about this. Ryan and Hugh really recognized that The View was going to not only tarnish their reputation, but it was also going to send the wrong message to the wrong people about what Deadpool 3 is about. The fact that Bob and Joy wanted to push questions about DEI on the show, and how Joy was going to get $10 million for doing that nonsense is just ludicrous, beyond belief. It really is. You know, who watches The View? Nobody. I mean, sure, a small margin of people, you know, around the entire world, yes, but no Deadpool fan, no Marvel fan, let alone any fan involved in a fandom like that, watches The View at all. So, I don't know where Bob Iger got it in his mind that this would either A, boost ratings, or would help the marketing campaign for Deadpool and Wolverine. He's out of his mind. I think it was nothing more than a way to promote The View in and of itself in isolation because they know that show is failing, they know that show is not expanding, and it's not reaching a wider audience and has not budged even after the hiatus that started in 2023 that came back in 24 this year. So, interestingly enough, there's a lot of things going on with this film when it comes to the, Bo the Joy Behar situation, when it comes to Bob Iger's push for DEI with the upcoming reshoots. One thing that I'm very proud of is that Ryan is really trying to give Henry Cavill some kind of a cameo. We have a lot to talk about this, so stay tuned in the next couple of days. He wants to do something with Henry Cavill for the reshoots for Deadpool 3 that are set to begin this April until May. And on top of that, he wants more major actors slash actresses appearing in Deadpool 3 to star as these surprising characters within the MCU. So, interestingly enough, again, Joy Behar doesn't know what she's doing, and this is where things get worse. Now, Behar is already demanding Disney to put on another cast member from Deadpool 3 for The View by the end of June, even if it's a lesser known cast member, or she is willing to take things further with the Disney heads in a legal form. So look, Joy Behar is nuts. We've talked about this before many times, months and months ago, that Joy Behar is like one of the faces of Disney. She will protect Disney at all costs, even if it comes to a point where they eat their own. They eat each other, right? She wants her money, she wants her $10 million payout. That's what it all really boils down to. If there were no conflict, she would really just defend Disney all out, 110%. So anyway, you guys, you know, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later.